as the entire world moves towards a more friendlier and more accessible approach in all walks of life, an urban planning concept has now become the subject of numerous conspiracy theories and a debate is raging about that particular concept. In fact, if you have been spending time on social media for a reasonable period of time every day, you must have come across the debate around the concept of 15-minute cities. Although this concept in itself seems to be beneficial, but it has also sparked outrage and is facing serious backlash because of the concerns that it will be like a real-life jail for everyone, a jail in which your freedom will be severely restricted and curtailed. Very recently, UK Member of Parliament Nick Fletcher had ignited a huge protest after stating that those cities will take away personal freedom. Fletcher had gone to the extent of calling for a debate on the international socialist concept of the so-called 15-minute cities and 20-minute neighbourhoods. Today in this video, we break down what are these so-called 15-minute cities and why the concept has sparked outrage. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. The time frame mentioned in the terminology 15-minute cities is the crux of the concept. Simply put, if you live in such cities, it means that everything you need to go about your daily life, such as schools, doctors, shops, supermarkets, salons and so on, is located no more than a 15-minute walk from your house. Every basic thing are located within a 15-minute radius by foot or bike. The idea has been called many things like complete communities, mixed-use communities, the city of short distances or the 20-minute neighborhood. The idea gained international attention when the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, announced her intention to make Paris a 15-minute city after her re-election in 2020. Her plan was to enhance neighborhoods across Paris while ensuring connections between them. The idea flourished in the wake of COVID when lockdowns and work from home became the norm and a need was felt for well-served local neighborhoods. The term 15-minute city is not a new one. It was coined back in 2016 by Carlos Moreno, an associate professor at Sorbonne University Business School in Paris, France. His idea boils down to giving the inhabitants access to the essential services they need to live, learn and thrive within their immediate vicinity. In 2021, Moreno won the Obel Award for developing this very concept. He had become the third recipient of this new international prize for architecture that honors recent and outstanding contribution towards changing the physical environment for the common good. The concept had gained traction globally during the COVID-19 pandemic when the urban network, the C40 cities, decided to promote this model as a new roadmap for a post-pandemic world. The main aim of the concept is to make cities more livable and connected with less private car use, meaning cleaner air, greener streets and lower levels of planet heating pollution. Around a fifth of the world's anthropogenic planet warming pollution comes from transportation and passenger cars make up more than 40% of this. So essentially, this also helps in reducing the carbon footprint, easing up traffic congestion and eventually reducing global warming. All these steps contribute towards making the planet more green and to keep the global warming level below the maximum yardstick as mentioned in the IPCC's report. The world is already warming up to this idea. Ottawa in Canada has proposed 15-minute neighbourhoods, Melbourne in Australia plans to adopt 20-minute neighbourhoods and Barcelona in Spain has been implementing a car-free super block strategy. Even some US cities have taken up this idea. Portland had introduced 20-minute neighbourhoods more than a decade ago, while O'Fallon, Illinois has recently published a strategy to grow from a typical suburban community to a community with everything you need within 15 minutes. Now, although the benefits are huge, but then the controversy that it has generated is also huge. For the opponents of the concept, it is simply an idea to limit people's liberty and more government control over people's lives. For them, beneath the facade of this concept lies an opportunity for the regime across the world to micromanage those aspects of people's lives which the government should not be worrying about. Last weekend, online theories spilled into real-life protests when thousands of people took to the streets of Oxford to protest the traffic filtering and 15-minute city proposals. The protesters claim the government wants to confine people just to their neighborhoods and accuse them of being part of a malign international plot to control people's movement in the name of climate action. The word climate tyranny is already a buzzword among the opponents of the climate change theory. The opponents also claim that this concept has the potential to fracture cities, furthering existing inequalities between richer and poorer areas and in turn creating more unbalanced societal strata. The utopian idea of 15-minute city is actually a very dystopian one in the making for them. Mildly concerned citizens also argue that 15-minute cities will increase isolation, while more zealous dissenters have imagined scenarios where citizen movement is monitored through surveillance or that people are fined just for leaving their own neighbourhoods. 
Thus, one more idea that can radically transform the world has become the victim of conspiracy theory. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.